All right, what's up, gang? Today, I have a story time that is sent in by a viewer. And uh, really quick, I just want to say before we get in the story, thank you guys for, like, actually responding to the poll that I uploaded yesterday. I uploaded a poll asking, like, if there's any, like, thing that you think I can improve on in my videos and, you know, anything that you think I could be doing better. And a lot of you guys, you know, you said something about my thumbnails and you said that they all kind of blended in together. And I agree. I'm trying to figure out some sort of way to where I can get a mix of, like, recognizable my traits and my thumbnails while also having them not blend together because I see exactly what you guys are talking about okay I just want you guys to know that you like that that input that you guys gave me on that is actually helping me and I appreciate you guys doing that but to get into the story basically this story takes place back whenever I was in kindergarten now in kindergarten I'm not gonna lie I was a really stupid kid I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel before but I have incredibly bad ADHD and in kindergarten it was probably the worst it's ever been in my life because you're already kind of drastic and crazy whenever you're like you know six or seven or however you old you, however old you are in kindergarten and then on top of that having like insane ADHD and just you know like wanting to play video games and stuff I was fucking crazy and I had a lot of stupid ideas I did a lot of stupid stuff and that's what this story is about so this story takes place on my mom's birthday now obviously because it was my mom's birthday it was a little bit special you know I back then I've it was anybody's birthday I was just excited that there was a birthday happening that day so you know I was pretty happy and that probably uh, um, made me like want to fuck around more like just made me even more happy and made me more giddy So I was just messing around even more and uh, yeah I got dressed everything I walked to school with my you know my siblings or whatever got to school and it was a pretty normal day But um the specific thing is is I know you and I know you guys had this in kindergarten, too But you guys have the little like behavior points or whatever, you know, whatever they were back then You know, I remember in first grade It was like there was a color board It was green yellow and red and if you got a red you got a phone call home if you got a yellow it was like a warning if you got a green you got like I think like a little thing from like a basket or a little piece of candy but in kindergarten there was a star system and we had little like index cards and if you got five stars for the day of good behavior you got to pick from a little basket I don't know why these are so popular I, I know you guys had these too but we did this stuff all the way up until like fourth grade and it was like the highlight of our day so at the end of the day I had saved up five stars which means I got to get a prize that day so the teacher gets out the basket I'm looking in the basket and there's a little whistle, okay? I don't know why I decided to pick the, the whistle because there was like little Chinese finger traps and like Jolly Ranchers and stuff in there that I could have gotten, but I picked the whistle. I don't know why I just was like, yo, this make loud noise funny, cool. And you know, my pea brain of a kindergartner was like, that's cool. I picked the whistle and I'm going home, okay? I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a short story, but um, I'm going home, and it's my mom's birthday. We're opening presents, like, right after school, and, uh, you know, she gets to my present. I gave her a little card and a candle that I went and got with my dad the other day, and, uh, it's pretty cool, and, uh, but the other thing was is at school... I wasn't necessarily very, like, I guess, well-behaved at recess either, so the clothes that I had put on that day were basically ruined because I was, like, rolling around in dirt like a pig. I'm not, I, I know it sounds stupid, I know it's weird, but I was fucking crazy, you know, I was just excited, I was on track to get five stars, it was my mom's birthday, I have it, a chronic ADHD, I'm a kindergartner, so I was just rolling around in dirt at recess, it was around fall, so, you know, there was, like, leaves on the ground, and I was disgusting, I don't even know why like the school didn't make me go to the nurse and change clothes but right like I said we're at home my mom's opening her presents and after she's done opening her presents before we don't eat cake or whatever before we eat like our actual dinner like the birthday dinner so we're about to go out for dinner and my mom's telling me I should go upstairs and change my clothes so I go upstairs and change my clothes but me, being the chronic ADHD kindergartner who got five stars and it's my mom's birthday, uh, I'm fucking crazy whenever I'm upstairs. And for some reason, I decide that while changing my clothes, I'm going to mid, like, clothing change, okay? I'm about to start changing my clothes. I get out the whistle from my pocket because I, you know, I was taking my pants off. And uh, I come up with the, per the, the perfect idea for a fun time. And that perfect idea was to get on top of my dress dresser which was um like right next to my bed and then jump off of my dresser onto my bed now this wasn't the first time I'd done this I've done this multiple times I don't I don't know why but I mean people they, you, you kids do that they just do stupid shit and you know you get hurt and you get over it and you learn and it's a part of it and this particular time I did it I was in jeans and my jeans weren't fully on they were like uh, 
a little bit, you know, down, not ne not like, you know, on my ankles, but like middle of my thigh area. So I didn't have like full range of my legs to be able to fully jump over the metal part of my bed and land in my bed softly. So I get up on the dresser, jump. I try to get as close as I can to the bed, completely miss, and I hit my fucking skull. And, uh, at this point, I don't remember much of the story. Like, I don't really know what happens from, you know, then till at the end of the story, but all I'm going off of is what my parents told me after I had, you know, basically come back from all this. I know I didn't black out, it's just my memory's foggy from it. Um, what happened was... I, you know, jumped, hit my head, and I'm, I'm start screaming, okay, and, uh, my parent, I'm holding my head, and my head's just wet, and I'm just scared, because I've always known, like, head injuries are the worst thing ever, you know, like, you wear a helmet, there's reasons for that shit, and I, I know I'm bleeding, I can tell I'm bleeding, my, my hand's fucking red and wet, and my, and my head's wet, okay, I know I'm bleeding, and I just start screaming, because, you know, it fucking hurts, and my, my parents, a few seconds later, they run upstairs, they see me, and we go straight to like the ER okay and now the thing about the ER is um there's different like levels of how good they are I'd say sometimes you know that they're completely empty you can just run in there and then just say something and they'll put you in you know whatever place you need to be to start getting you know the help or the treatment that you need for whatever's happening uh this time it was pretty fucking packed and so I'm walking in there, and my mom had a wheelchair that, uh, because my mom has, like, a really messed up back from doing gymnastics for a long time, like, it fucked up her back, and after surgeries, she got a wheelchair, and she still has the wheelchair, and it's always in the back of her car, so I, I'm getting in there on a wheelchair, my head, I have, like, a little rag on it that my parents got me before we left, and I, I'm rolling, I'm getting rolled in there, and <laughs> I kid you not, the fucking front lady people are like, so what's the problem, and I'm screaming and crying and then my my dad he yells there's a fucking hole in my son's head and then after that you know whatever you know I get rolled into the place and they give me some stitches and that was about it uh we never got to go out and eat uh my clothes maintained being all fucked up and uh there's a little blood spot right next to my bed to this day and yeah we we ended up just getting takeout you know we, I think we ate some like chick-fil-a or something like that I don't know but uh yeah kind of ruined my mom's birthday hope you guys did like this story if you did you know you should check out some of the other ones i've uploaded and again i really do appreciate the feedback you gave me on the poll i'm going to work on my thumbnails and yeah have a surprise for you guys tomorrow uh stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed the video if you did like the video if you did like the video bye